over the past 30 years, the James Renwick Alliance has developed as the most dynamic national network uniting all the people who love craft arts. Anybody who is passionate for clay, for glass, for wood, people who just love art in general will find a terrific group of friends. They put you in touch with artists. They take phenomenal trips. It's really a fun group to be part of. People began to come to Alliance things because they heard we had fun here. We really had big things going on. While we do events with a social aspect to them, the bottom line actually is education. We offer lectures and workshops and demonstrations by notable artists. We have formed a tremendous bond during our study tours and the friendships that we have created are rooted deeply in our passion for craft. We also support the Renwick by acquiring objects for its collection. We fund their fellowship in educational programs and we also support their exhibits. The Alliance was started in the early 80s by a group of collectors to support the Renwick Gallery's public programs. But as we had our meetings, the idea of adding to the Renwick's collection became a very attractive thing. I think that scholarly things are great, but objects are what people are really interested in and, and draw people in. If you just browse through the galleries, you'll see that the Renwick Alliance has helped us acquire the most important works in our collection. One of my great favorites is the very tall woman in blue and yellow dress by Viola Fry. It is an interactive work. It's so tall, it's nine feet tall, and slightly looms over you when you see it. So automatically it sets the stage where you become a child again. And this is your mom leaning over, hovering, intruding on your space. It really is an expressive work and it just is very exciting to look at. One of my favorite works in the collection is Karen Lamont's reclining dress impression with drapery that uh, was purchased for us by the James Renwick Alliance. It's uh, one of the most monumental and yet delicate pieces of glass that I've seen in contemporary American craft. And I think it really speaks to the, the evolution of this field and its sophistication. The craft study tours are fabulous on all levels. We have so much fun, they're just great. We get to visit collectors' homes, extraordinary homes, and the studios of fabulous artists all over the world, which we could never do on our own. How could you do something like this if you're not part of a fabulous group like the Renwick Alliance? We have craft leaders study tours to local, national, and international destinations, all organized and carried out by our members. We travel to such cities as New York, San Francisco, St. Louis, Santa Fe, and Houston. And we travel internationally to places such as South Korea, to England, France, Italy, the Netherlands, Australia. The first trip I did was trip to Australia, which was a leap of faith because I think it was two weeks with a bunch of people I'd never met before. And it was fantastic. We all had a great time, we still talk about it. And that was, I think, in 98 or 99, and uh, been coming back ever since. It's a wonderful, fun group of people who are ardent craft supporters or craft artists themselves. The Alliance is not just for collectors. I have a gallery and I am part of the Alliance because I get a lot out of it. I learn so much from the collectors about artists that I don't know about. And I share my artists with the collectors. So it's a real two-way street. And the real benefit started coming back to me when members of the James Henry Alliance would bring over people to my booth to show my work and say, we discovered him. So then I realized the wonder of them taking ownership of me. And so I had been adopted, so to speak. It's a very loyal group. Once you're part of the Alliance, you know, these are your friends. I mean it when I say they're a family. I mean, we, we spend time together. We go to dinner together, we have parties together, we get to know each other. And they really are the people that make this place run. They are the soul of the Renwick Gallery. You know, we're having this kid next month, I feel like they're going to have 400 grandmothers. It's great. <laughs> it's impossible talking to the Renwick Alliance without talking to the people. And then when I meet the people here, yeah, I found the people extremely, extremely professional. Um, Wonderful. This group of people is pretty amazing. I, I, I've not seen it anywhere. And uh, 
God bless these people here in Washington. I mean, they're dead serious. In the field of craft, I think it defines the collector world. The learning process has been a joy. The people who collect have encyclopedic knowledge of the field and the makers. And not only are they willing to share it, but they're quite willing to drag you from, <laughs> from locale to locale. Yeah, I'd have to say some of the most memorable experiences I have ever had in my life have been with this group. They make a huge difference and I want to be part of that.